Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see one more concept in hashing. So which is the collision handling techniques. So in our previous session, we have seen the two categories of uh, collision handling techniques. That is a separate chaining and open addressing. So under the open addressing, again, we have seen the linear probing and the quadratic probing where we had some disadvantages of clustering. So in order to store the data or the retrieve the data, that will be somewhat difficult. So now we'll be seeing the third one that is a double hashing. So which is a, another collision handling technique comes under the open addressing. So our next one is double hashing. Double hashing. So let us take here also at the table size as 10, right? Zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So this is a hash table. Hash table and the size of hash table is 10, right? The indexes are from 0 to 9. So in double hashing, the name itself indicates we, we are calculating two different hash values, right? So, H1 of K plus I into H2 of K. So, the overall hash code, right? And where H1 of K will be the normal division method which we have seen in our previous sessions, right? So, that means the K mod table size. K mod table size and h2 of k will be h2 of k will be prime we need to select a prime such that it should be near, nearer to the table size as well as it should be less than the table size so the prime which is near to table size and which is less than table size so prime minus k mod prime k mod Prime. And here, i will be from 0 to n. So, initially i value will be 0 and it will be incremented if there is a collision. i will be incremented only if there is a collision. Otherwise, i value will be 0. So, here the prime, prime will be nearer to table size. For example, in this example, the table size is 10, which is the nearer prime number. That's obviously it will be 7. Okay. And also 11, right? It's 11 and 7. But the second constraint, it should be less than table size. So we should not consider 11, right? It should be less than table size. Obviously, here in this example, the prime will be 7. We can select the prime as 7. Right? Now, so by using this formula, we have to find the hash codes for each and every element and we have to insert that element in that particular hash code. So let us take an example for that. Okay, so let us take the previous examples 21, uh, 32, 52. Okay, so a few examples, only four examples I am taking. So the first one, H of 11, what we have to do? So initial I is 0. Okay, so h1 of 11 plus 0 into i value 0 right h2 of 11 see here uh, again we have to apply the mod okay mod table size mod table size so i will be 0 to n yeah, right so mod here the table size is 10. So 10 we are giving. So H1 of 11. So this is nothing but H1 of 11 and this becomes 0 mod 10. So H1 of 11 means here you can see K mod table size. So 11 mod 10 and the result will be again mod 10 which is 1 mod 10 which becomes 1. So 1 is a hash code we got to insert the 11 to store the element 11. So we have to store element 11 in index 1. So store the 11 in index 1. Right? Now go with the 21. 
will find the hash code of 21. So hash code of 21 is equal to h of h1 of 21 plus 0 into h2 of 21. So initially the i value is 0, right? So whole mod 10, which is a table size. This becomes h1 of 21 mod 10. So 21 mod 10 mod 10. So which is 1 mod 10 which becomes 1 itself. Right? And see already the data is available in index 1. Right? The element, some, some other element has been stored in index 1. So that implies the same hash code came for different elements. That implies there is a collision. Collision. So what we have to do? Increment i value. So initially increment i value is 0. Now we are increment i value. So that means it becomes 1. 1. Right? Now what happens here? So h1 of 21. So h1 of 21 means 21 mod 10 plus 1 into h2 of 21 which is a prime the nearest prime 7 minus 7 minus k mod prime 21 mod 7 and the complete we have to apply mod 10 so which becomes 1 plus 1 into 7 minus 21 mod 7 which is 0 so 1 into 7 mod 10 which becomes 1 plus 7 so 8 mod 10 which becomes 8 so hash code is 8 for 21 so we need to store 21 in 8 so in 8 and store in 21 okay similarly 32 so let us see the hash code for 32 hash code for 32 so hash code of 32 is h1 of 32 plus initial i0 into h2 of 32 and overall mod 10 which becomes 32 mod 10 mod 10 because this term completely becomes 0 right so 2 mod 10 which becomes 2 so 2 is a hash code for 32 so check whether the element is available in 2 or not. So there is no element. So there is no collision. So we can directly add 32 in index 2. So I am adding 32 here. Now the same thing applied for 52. So one more element we are having. So we need to store 52 in the table. So we need to find hash code for 52 which becomes h1 of 52 plus 0 into h2 of 52 overall mod table size which is 10 so h1 of 52 that is a 52 mod 10 and this becomes 0 mod 10 so which is 2 mod 10 again we got a 2 the same hash code got for two elements so already there is an element available in index 2 so here we had collision what we have to do we have to increment i value with 1. So increment i value with 1. Now what will be the result? Now what will be the result? So this becomes 52 mod 10 plus 1 into prime number 7 minus 52 mod 7. Okay, mod 10. So this becomes a 2 plus 1 into 7 minus. So this is a 3. Right? 3. 52 mod 7. 7 7s are 49 and the remaining reminder will be 3. 7 minus 3 mod 10. So which becomes 2 plus 1 into 4. So 4 mod 10 which becomes 6 mod 10 which is 6. The hash code is 6 for 52. So we need to store 
52 in 6. So here we are storing 52. So if again we got any collision, then I will be incremented to 2 because we, now it is I is 1 and if still there is a collision, then we, simply we can increment I with 2 and still if there is a collision, increment I with 3. So that will be continued until we find the uh, empty slot in the hash table. So this is the simple technique to handle the collision using double hashing. So here as the name it indicates, we are calculating, we have hash codes two times and we are adding them and we are applying the mod operator with table size. So this is the formula for double hashing and this is very important. So we need to select a prime which is nearer to the table size and also which is less than the table size. Right. So hope you understood this one. And I'll stop here. And if you are having any queries regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.